Good morning guys hope you guys are doing well welcome to the channel if you guys have any questions starting out uh, drop them down below I reply to everybody's comment and if you guys are new please consider subscribing to the channel today I just want to briefly describe what we're in and how this is set up so right here is exactly a half acre clover food plot I planted this back in I think the first week of first weekend in June whatever that was June 4th I think it was and I wanted to establish this because this whole field this is all three acres and last fall I planted this all in winter wheat and a little bit of winter rye and I let that go until the following spring spring green up I came through and I disked this whole thing up this whole field disked that winter wheat back into the ground and this side right here this half acre strip here this was actually pines that I came in with a skid steer two years ago and cleared all the pines out. I wanted to expand the food plot, um, you know, acreage on the property. So I took all those trees, got them out of here, pushed them all down, knocked them out, got the roots out for the majority, majority of them. And when I did that, I think that year, that same year I planted soybeans and sunflowers came in. It turned out great soybeans and everything. In the fall, in that fall, two years ago, I planted, uh, I disked all that in and I planted winter wheat again. I came back in, like I said, this year, took all that winter wheat, disc it back in the ground. Well, this side of this field kind of slopes this way a little bit. And it's kind of, it's really, really rocky. So I just didn't want to disc it anymore. And it was difficult to disc because it was on the hill and all that stuff. And I didn't want to continue to plant something each year in this soil here. I limed it, fertilized it, got the pH up a little bit. And now in the, uh, summer june 4th or whatever it was i came in and broadcasted the clover got the clover plot to grow and uh we didn't do any herbicides on this uh in the fall or in the sp uh, spring this year i just took the winter wheat there was no weeds just that back in i actually used a drag a chain drag i drug it out seeded the clover and i actually used my four wheeler tires and just ran ran it over back and forth i turned turned off the plot came back in straight lines and just you know, overlapped each wheel and uh, you know, packed it down. And here we are with a beautiful clover plot. Now, I didn't um, mow this at all since June 4th. It grew, it was up, the deer were hammering it. And what I did was uh, yesterday I came in and there was some broadleaf weeds coming in, a little bit of grass is coming in here. And uh, I mowed it yesterday, mowed it back and forth, turned off the plot you know, straight strips through, and now it's pure clover. Just nicked the tops off the clovers, and you can see where I did that. There's still a little, uh, you know, seed heads forming and stuff, but this will be good the rest of the year. And um, the way this lays out is all over here is it's gonna be two and a half acres of Braska's Showstopper. And I have a strip of Egyptian wheat over there, a strip over there, and I have a travel corridor straight out in front of me here to the left. And that connects to that uh, food plot trail that I created, which is also going to be planted with uh, some domain seed, which is going to be uh, no BS. Now, right here, yesterday, I hung a brand new tree stand for this clover plot. And that stand is very good. I actually missed um, a really good eight pointer that came cruising through here last year comes out comes out of those bedding areas back across the side there and they worked their way out into this food plot um but i missed it actually i told the story many times but my when i drew back on my bow it was raining out and I had a thumb release and it slipped off the really slipped and arrow went flinging ended up missing that deer but this is a very good spot the deer have been hammering this clover and what we're going to do now is we mowed this yesterday and i'm going to wait two weeks and we're going to foiler feed this with the antler grow and uh, farmer such MPK. And then we're going to overseed this with Sugar Mama from Domain Outdoors, which is some clovers, some brassicas, and some chicory. We're gonna put this in here just very lightly. That way we just have some brassicas, you know, to come up through here. There's some, you know, exposed soil, they'll grow up. And uh, that way we will expand the remaining food plots with brassicas as well. So in here we'll have the clover and the brassicas come for hunting season. And um, they'll be hammering this clover, you know, in this area. 
in the northeast deer hammer the clover it's very palatable to deer um you know they'll hammer it up till in in the november really it and then in the spring it's one of the first things that green up you know obviously winter wheat grows up before clover but the clover will come in next year and usually the first year with clover it's you know not 100 percent the best it could be it takes that full year the following year it comes in very lush next year next spring we'll come in we'll soil sample it we'll probably hit it with some you know granular fertilizer bring that up a few bags of lime possibly and then we'll maintain that through the year and then if uh you know the weeds are out of control or something you know we can spray it with something like maybe some imox or something but uh that's the process guys it's a very good um plot now it's only you know 80 what is it whatever it is 87 70 80 85 days old something like that but um this will continue to grow the rest of the year for a couple more several weeks here and uh, we'll get this planted within the next week overseed this we have a stand over there it'd be a good setup any questions leave them down below and uh this will be a good good spot i think hopefully bring some hunts to you here on film see you